Hello, hola, bonjour, hello, ciao, hola, privet, konnichiwa, ni hao, namaste, marhaba, anyang aseo, hej, hujambo, aloha. Welcome to Essential TV Channel. Your cozy home for awesome entertainment like comedy, motivation, film synopsis, short stories and many more. Thank you for visiting my channel today. Welcome back for those who previously came to watch my uploads. And if you are new to my home, please sit back, relax while you enjoy what I have to offer. Just check my uploads. You will find an array of comedy short videos, short stories in chapters, movie trailers and more. And if it's not too much to ask, will you support my channel by clicking that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you won't miss any of my future uploads? For doing so, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. With that being said, let's proceed. After being defeated by Thanos on Titan, Nebula and Tony Stark are left stranded in space. Carol Danvers brings them back to Earth where they are reunited with Natasha Romanoff, Bruce Banner, Steve Rogers, Rocket, Thor, and James Rhodes. The team devises a plan to kidnap the Infinity Stones from Thanos and use them to undo his deeds, but upon locating him, they discover that he had already destroyed the stones once, preventing their further use. He explains to the remaining Avengers that he did this to prevent using the stones for any additional evil plans. Thor beheads Thanos out of rage, saying that he should have done it in Wakanda. Scott Lang leaves the Quantum Realm five years later to find that Cassie is now a teenager and that Hope Van Dyne, along with half the population, was taken by the snap. While Romanoff is tirelessly keeping watch over both Earth and the rest of the universe with the assistance of Rhodes, Danvers, Okoy, Rocket, and Nebula. Rogers has been leading brief counseling sessions for survivors still dealing with the aftereffects of the snap. Lang goes to Romanoff and Rogers and explains that although it had been five years for them, it had only been five hours for him and that time stretches very differently there. The three go to Stark, who is now co-parenting a child with Pepper Potts, and explain their hypothesis that the Infinity Stones can be stolen from Thanos before he can collect them by using the Quantum Realm to travel back in time. After considering the loss of Peter Parker, Stark initially rejects their suggestion out of concern for his family and the tranquility he has attained. However, after reflecting on the loss of Peter Parker, Stark decides to test theoretical models that would be compatible with Lang's Quantum Tunnel and eventually finds one that works. The remaining Avengers set out to put their team back together with Stark now on board. Now that Bruce Banner has accepted the Hulk as a part of himself, they have fused into a single consciousness. Romanoff sets out to find the assassin after hearing reports from Rhodes that he uses tactics similar to those of Barton. After losing his family, Barton became so overcome with grief that he began to brutally massacre criminal cartels and gangs all over the world under the alias Ronin in an effort to better the world that was still left. He is discovered by Natasha in Japan, and after some persuasion, he decides to rejoin the team in an effort to try to bring his family back. Banner and Rocket go to the small town of New Asgard, where Valkyrie and the last survivors of Asgard have settled. They there find Thor, who has become overwhelmed by guilt over failing to kill Thanos in Wakanda. Thor has become overweight, his hair and beard are overgrown, and he spends his free time eating junk food, getting drunk, and playing Fortnite with his friends Korg and Meek. Thor begrudgingly agrees to return to the Avengers after some convincing from Rocket and Banner. The Avengers are reunited with a plan after Barton tests the quantum time machine and confirms that it is functional. Banner, Rogers, Lang, and Stark set out to retrieve the time, mind, and space stones during the Battle of New York in 2012. When Banner visits the Sanctum Sanctorum, the Ancient One informs him that removing the Time Stone from her timeline would thwart Stephen Strange's future attempts to stop Kesilius from destroying the natural laws. But when Banner informs her that Strange willingly gave the Time Stone to Thanos, she allows Banner to keep it, suggesting that Strange had intended for a particular series of events to take place in order for Thanos to be defeated. In order to avoid any negative effects, Banner also promises that the Stones will be returned to their correct timelines. After the Avengers take the Space Stone away from Loki, Lane and Stark make an attempt to steal it. While Stark steals the briefcase containing the Tesseract when no one is looking, Lane causes Stark's former self a mild cardiac arrest by tampering with the circuit in his artificial heart. Stark drops the briefcase after getting hit by the Hulk unintentionally, foiling their scheme. 
The space stone is then taken by Loki, who uses it to flee from authorities. In spite of his success in stealing the Mind Stone from covert Hydra agents, Rogers runs into his former self, who believes he is a disguised Loki. After defeating past Stee, Rogers reunites with Stark and Lang, who now have to devise a different plan to obtain the Space Stone without using up all of the Pym particles that are required to allow them to traverse the Quantum Realm. While Rogers and Stark come up with a scheme to steal the Space Stone from a U.S. ship, Lang returns to the present with the Mind Stone. In order to travel back home, they also stole additional Pym particle vials from an army installation in the 1970s. While there, Rogers sees Peggy Carter, and Stark and his father Howard have a deep conversation. Before Maleketh uses the Reality Stone against the Nine Realms, Rocket and Thor journey to Asgard to retrieve it. As Rocket steals the Aether, the Reality Stone in vapor form, from Jane Foster, Thor is reminded that his mother, Frigga, would soon pass away and has a chance encounter with her. After Thor receives advice from Frigga and retrieves his hammer Mjolnir, thrilled to learn that he is still deserving of it, the two travel back to Earth. In order to steal the Power Stone before Peter Quill this, Nebula and Rhodes travel to Morag. With the help of the Power Stone, Rhodes travels back in time, but Nebula malfunctions and stays on Morag. Thanos and Ebony Ma learn that future Nebula is present thanks to the two consciousnesses operating on Nebula's systems, and they set out to abduct her. While attempting to warn the others after realizing what has happened, Nebula is already too late. After scanning her memories and learning about the Avengers' strategy, Thanos sends the more obedient Nebula from the past back in time to act as a spy. When Red Skull, the Stone's Keeper, tells Barton and Romanoff that they must sacrifice a loved one in order to obtain the stone, they become conflicted and decide not to go to Vormir. Romanoff ultimately bears the burden of the sacrifice after a struggle between the two, and a distraught Barton returns to Earth with the Soul Stone. Using the same nanotechnology as Stark's most recent Iron Man suit, Banner, Rocket, and Stark set out to create a gauntlet to hold the stones after everyone had returned to the present on Earth. Because he believes he can withstand both the gamma radiation and the severe pain and injury caused by using the stones, Banner offers to use the gauntlet to bring back everyone who was killed in Thanos' snap. He succeeds, but Thanos, who the imposter Nebula brought to Earth, attacks them almost immediately, destroying the quantum portal in the process. When Thanos destroys the Avengers' headquarters, the team is split up, and the gauntlet ends up under Barton's guard. While Rogers, Thor, and Stark confront Thanos, who decides he will use the Infinity Stones to destroy the universe and create one in his vision, the future Nebula kills the past Nebula as she tries to steal the Infinity Stones from Barton. The three engage in a one-on-one -on -one battle with Thanos, with Rogers supporting Thor's theory that he is capable of using Yalner, but they are all defeated by Thanos. T'Challa makes an appearance before Rogers shortly after Thanos' army arrives on Earth, along with all of the Avengers and other allies Banner has revived, before leading an attack against Thanos and his army. After a protracted battle in which Quill and past Gamora are reunited and Stark and Parker are reunited, Thanos engages in a struggle with the Avengers for the Infinity Stones. Thanos commands Glaive to have his ship fire numerous energy blasts while he is bound by Wanda Maximoff's energy, nearly destroying the Avengers' efforts. Returning, Captain Marvel destroys Thanos' ship while battling for control of the goblet. Parker and Potts comfort Stark as he passes away from exposure to the stone's radiation as he uses the nanotechnology from the new goblet to move the Infinity Stones from Thanos' hand to his own and use them to turn Thanos and his entire army into ash while yelling triumphantly. I am Iron Man. The Avengers hold Stark's funeral after the conflict, floating his Mark I arc reactor out on the nearby lake. The fact that Romanoff and Vision, who were absent during the snap, would be happy with their defeat of Thanos, gives Barton and Wanda Maximoff some comfort. Thor, who is for the first time ever free of the burden of royalty and leadership, crowns Valkyrie the Queen of Asgard and joins the Guardians of the Galaxy in order to discover his true calling. Parker rejoins his best friend Ned at school while Barton goes back home to be with his family. While Carter chooses to spend the rest of her life in the past with Rogers, Rogers is tasked with traveling into the past to return the stones and Thor's hammer to their original timelines. As an elderly man, he reappears in front of Sam Wilson in Bucky Barnes and hands Wilson his shield and the cape of Captain America. 
In a brief flashback, Rogers and Carter can be seen in their living room sharing the dance they always wanted to do. They appear to be finally happy. When Thanos destroys the Avengers headquarters, the team is split up, and the gauntlet ends up under Barton's guard. While Rogers, Thor, and Stark confront Thanos, who decides he will use the Infinity Stones to destroy the universe and create one in his vision, the future Nebula kills the past Nebula as she tries to steal the Infinity Stones from Barton. The three engage in a one-on-one -on -one battle with Thanos, with Rogers supporting Thor's theory that he is capable of using Mjolnir, but they are all defeated by Thanos. T'Challa makes an appearance before Rogers shortly after Thanos' army arrives on Earth, along with all of the Avengers and other allies Banner has revived, before leading an attack against Thanos and his army. After a protracted battle in which Quill and past Gamora are reunited and Stark and Parker are reunited, Thanos engages in a struggle with the Avengers for the Infinity Stones. Thanos commands Glaive to have his ship fire numerous energy blasts while he is bound by Wanda Maximoff's energy, nearly destroying the Avengers' efforts. Disclaimer under fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended.